God's word prospers us. Psalm chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 But his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper. When we take delight in the word of God we are saying that we are giving prominence we are giving importance to the word of god and anyone who gives importance to the word of god you know in the passage that i just read verse 3 says he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that's a prosperous tree that's a tree that has all the nutrition it needs to grow and thrive planted right next to the waters and this is a tree that is able to put forth its fruit in season uh and let's relate that to our lives you know as we take time in god's word as we study god's word we can become like that tree that receives all the nutrition that it that it requires you know in our lives we may be looking for all kinds of counsel we may be looking for wisdom looking for understanding looking for a grace a favor to be imparted to us god's word is able to deliver all of that and much more to us and we can be those prosperous people who have uh, all that we need to thrive in our lives let's look further uh, it's also said about that tree that its leaf shall not wither and whatever uh, he does shall prosper so this tree that is planted by the water uh, is a tree that is always green and in the same way when we have our roots in the word of god you know we will see prosperity you know no matter what we put our hands into we will see success in it because god's word uh, is is soaked through and through within us uh, and i also want us to bring our attention to john chapter 15 and verse 5 where The scripture says I am the vine you are the branches he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit for without me you can do nothing we were talking about being prosperous being abundant and thriving uh, but look at this verse it says without god's word abiding in us without us abiding in god's word forget about abundance forget about doing something for god now we can do nothing So God's word is that starting point. God's word is that place uh, that will keep lifting us up. Uh, and so let's understand the power of the word of God and give God's word uh, that position, time and interest that the word of God needs. And as we do this, you know, God will bless us back and we will be uh, those people who are prosperous who are successful uh, and who are walking in the abundance of god let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that lord you are a god who is yearning and longing to bless your people father lord uh, today we we commit to you god that we want to take time in your word and and god we we want to draw closer to you father through your word lord as we do this as we delight in your word Thank you God that you are making our way prosperous. Thank you God that failure is being broken. Thank you God that you are establishing uh Lord our path father and we glorify you and you alone in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.